Oh my stars. <laughs> oh goodness. It has been a little while. We, I'm not sure which vlogs I should put out in which order. I guess it would make most sense to put this Where's one out Kelly next. Uh, we actually just got home from vacation and we sometimes are a little all over the place. For those of you who know us well, <laughs> you know that that's who we are. So I didn't really get a chance to um, put out a video to say that we were actually, oh my gosh, that's a fun place to sit. To say that we were gonna go on vacation. We ended up going on a family vacation and um, we definitely have a fun story to share about that, but I will probably share that in a different video. Yes, baby. Hey, can we eat lunch? Yeah, we can eat lunch. Buttercup, the guineas. Okay, but we're gonna tell them that story in a whole different video because we ha do have some fun clips from our vacation and boy, do we have a story. Our vacation almost turned into a nightmare, but it ended up turning out okay. I'll give you a sneak peek to the end. Everything did not turn out okay. But look, guineas have found a new place to perch. I really want them to hang out with Buttercup, so that's awesome. We came home, we found a guinea in the garden. Oh, it's fogging up. Welcome, humidity. We have lost some more guineas while we were on vacation. We are down to five guineas. <sighs> I don't know what to say about that, but that's just that. And Buttercup? Say hi, baby. Hi. Oh my goodness, when I got home last night, she did not flinch. I started rubbing her neck and scratching her. She was so stoic and like did not move and was just like so happy to have mommy home. Mommy came home. But this is the first time I am seeing this garden in a week and it is wild, like actually wild, like all over the place wild. But how much it's changed. And there's, lots of ground cherries. there's a lot of ground cherries. You guys can have a snack. Maybe that'll be lunch. Our no, ground cherries. I just need a bread. You can, we can have bread too. I ended up making, mm, I don't know, 12 loaves of bread to take on vacation. Maybe more. We ended up, I, I way overshot that. And so we brought home bread. And if you slice it up, put it in the freezer, then you can pull them out and put them in the toaster. And it's actually like pretty, I know we're gonna show them in just a second. Um, it's actually uh, pretty good of the flavor Ball, quality. Ball I look at that, that's so pretty. So many fun things to show you. Um, but it holds up really nicely. And so that's a really actually a great way that I'm going to get me a little bit more organized is to make a really big bread day and then freeze it. And so then we can just, you do have to toast it up um, for it to taste pretty good. But anyways, oh my goodness, my jungle. Okay, this is not going, is hopefully, not going to be a big hour long garden tour. It'll just be a quick, how the garden has changed so much this summer for you guys that haven't seen since maybe for the handful of you that have that stuck with that big long garden tour this is going to be a big change for you okay we are home from vacation we had a great time we went to a lake house with phillips whole family and it was just a very good time of rest and reflection and kind of vision casting and it was just that was on the leaf? How neat, that's a little pod. Okay, I just have so many fun things to show you that this will probably be a little standalone video and it sounds like, did you guys feel a raindrop just now? Yeah. Okay, so maybe we're gonna have to do this quickly. Oh my goodness, it's good to be back with you guys. Mama, no. I'm so sorry that this we are- It's not a noodle bean. It's not a noodle bean? Yeah, look, see this flower right here? This flower will eventually turn into a noodle bean. Yeah, and that's okay. It fell off, no big deal. Uh, it's so good to be back with you guys. I am so sorry that we are kind of an all over the place kind of family. And I am the first to admit it. We have some ADHD in our family and just a lot of more moving parts than we went, than it was just me at home with, oh wow, look how beautiful. And none are cracked. <gasps> okay, well if we what don't- one? Uh, 
Enjoy it. Mm, 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 so good. Enjoy. You're so sweet. I'm good. I, I, I got to talk. There's so many things I want to say. But you guys are so kind to just stick with me and um, come on this journey with us and maybe have your notification bell on for our vlogs because we used to have a schedule. We try to stick to a schedule. Oh, I got it. Just flick it off. But things come up and then we sometimes get behind and um, I do have to say we actually really had to push the anxiety feeling down while we were on our trip because we have some deadlines of A, putting out vlogs for you guys, but some other deadlines that Philip and I have put on ourselves that, you know, it's, it's good to go away and have a vacation. I didn't realize how badly we needed it. Um, and it, it, it feels a lot more rejuvenating to be back. I have so many fun things to show them and I have so many things to share with them and hopefully this won't be too long, but Mama, guys, hi. Let's, let's so hopefully your notification bell is on for the vlogs and I promise I will, I, my goal is really to get back on a schedule. I think we all are getting there. Some of you, your kids are back in school. We are starting a, a special um, extra school program. So we do homeschool, but we have another program. You found the ground cherries. <laughs> so yummy. <laughs> Are you happy about the ground cherries? Mm -hmm. Uh-huh. Mama, can you show them the watermelon right now? I will show them in just a, a minute, sweetheart. But we have a program that they're gonna be doing and so it will hopefully give us a nice rhythm and a routine and hopefully we'll get back onto a schedule. Maybe this was just kind of summer crazy schedule for us and maybe the same was for you. I like the sound. Kinsley just told him to shush, but I like the sound of the guineas. You stepping on my watermelon? Okay. Oh, this one was so happy to be home. Hi, I know. She was just, uh, we had a farm sitter, and so that was great, but Chloe definitely missed us, and she didn't even ask to get into bed last night. She just was like, I'm sleeping with you. And usually she sleeps on my side. She got up and slept in the middle between Philip and I. She was like, I am coming to be with mommy and daddy and you left me and don't ever do it again. It's a jungle, see? It is a jungle in here. I can't. Yeah, you're in a li literally, our garden has turned into a jungle and it's beautiful. Let Orange and red? Show, show them the watermelon. You want to show them the watermelon? Yeah, yeah. Okay, I'll just talk while we're doing this vlog and I'll try to look. remember what I was saying. Um, a peeled. You know what's so neat? Can you There's tell. Hollow. Can you tell them that these are volunteer watermelons right here? And Which mama, means. What does a volunteer mean? It means, it means that we didn't grow it. We didn't plant it. That's right. Mama, and so look. a bird probably ate the watermelon seed and either pooped it out or this got dropped maybe even last year Mama, and look can you show me that one there's another one there and another here. one there another and one then, there and then there there and then over here over there and even there. more okay try crazier. not to walk on it though maybe we can walk okay. around it even more crazier what's um, crazy there's a watermelon plant over there that we didn't plant on the side garden yes there's a and side garden over there front. In the and, front, and it's and it's so and that watermelon is it's so huge. Big. Yeah, it's so big. I didn't plant watermelons because I can't really. Ooh, hello. I can't really preserve Thank them God. as much. But I'm thinking I'm actually going to make some watermelon lime popsicles oh, and there. freeze them and kind of have little um, ice cube snacks, those kind of things. So I guess we'll just start with a little garden tour. But um, remind me all the things I wanted to tell you. <laughs> jump through the screen and tell me all the things I wanted to tell you. Um, when I try to say chicken. too many things at one time, <gasps> chicken in the garden. Guys, we almost act like we don't even know how to do this. Hey, sweetie. No ma'am, no ma'am, out. No ma'am, no ma'am, no ma'am. Ma no good job, Kelly, good, good, good girl, good girl. Good job. Let's close the door. Good job, Cal, Love our chicken it. wrangler. Um. Okay, let's breathe, Where's Alex, Chloe? and pause, and we will enjoy the garden, the garden for a second, and I will share my heart as things come back to me. Chloe! And hopefully before this Where? rain hits us. Okay, so you see down here is our big, huge watermelon patch, which has now taken over. It's taken over the strawberries. It's on top of the strawberries. 
We have a couple of squash plant that I planted. They have come up nicely. They were just little guys when I left. And look at all those little fruit or the flowers that are coming that will turn into fruit. Um, so my sweet peas are dying back. But my watermelon, I planted a second round of water. Oh my goodness. I planted a second round of cucumbers and this guy, I want to say was like half the size when I left. For real. And look, I'm pretty sure this is an Armenian long, which technically is a melon, but we eat it like a cucumber when you eat it young. But if you let it get really big, you could utilize it like you would a melon. So many fun things. My poor Mama, sunflowers garden? have been dying back. And I really want to collect seeds from our massive guy over Mama, there. Because that's just right such here. a strong plant. Okay, we will collect seeds. Can everyone try to not interrupt mommy so I can do this quick so they don't feel like, hey, I'm sitting here and you're talking all over the place. I'm sorry, but that's who we are. If you guys have stuck with us, it's because you know that sometimes we start a sentence and we don't even finish it. All right, my, my volunteer tomato, which, does everyone remember what a volunteer is? Yes, that we didn't plant it. A plant that I didn't actively plant. It just showed up and makes sense because there was tomatoes here last year. Mama, Not sure what uh, variety that is yet, actually, but I'm seeing flowers, so we're gonna get fruit at some point. This sad little bed never produced my butternut squash and my spaghetti squash, which are, my new goal is actually to produce like good substantial food because how sustainable can you be on like lettuce and like tomatoes and peppers? Like it's good additions, but we need something solid like potatoes and like maybe we should, we're thinking of starting to grow wheat so we can like Mama. have something really hearty and substantial. <laughs> it's gonna rain guys. We're gonna run inside. You're gonna love it. It's gonna be fun. Enjoy this vlog. It's just, it's just, it's just fun and hyper. These are actually doing great and I'm really excited about these. These are called buttercups. They are a squash, but they are supposed to taste more like a sweet potato, kind of between a squash and a sweet potato. And I don't love squash. My family does, so I will grow it. But the squash bugs and stuff kind of deter me from wanting to grow squash but I'm going to persevere and I wanted to do a later round of squash because hopefully less pest pressure when it gets closer to the fall. Anywho, look at these massive guys. Guys, when we left, these handful of plants were, I don't know, yay big, like just a tiny little boop. And now they're big and look, we've already got like a big, flower, which we know is going to produce a beautiful fruit or, you know, squash, a offspring, a, you know, they're going to produce. And hopefully I can have a bunch of these. And if we love them, I can utilize this and maybe I won't be able to make butternut squash soup, but I can make buttercup squash soup. Buttercup. Buttercup. Yeah. Okay. Um, strawberries are outgrown with grass. That's a whole pickle. We'll have to think through that one. Our berry plants, they survived. If you guys remembered, I shared about the beetles that just annihilated my plants. Plants are hardy. They have holes all over them. They don't care. They're coming back. They're producing fruit. The beetles got some food and I got some food. So that all worked out. My cucumbers, do you remember when I did my garden tour? The back of this berry plant, sorry, the back of this berry uh, raised garden bed, I put cucumbers and we put cucumbers behind these berry plants. Look how big, look at that, look at that. Good job, kids. We're gonna have cucumbers with our sandwiches? Yeah. Yeah. We already have another cucumber inside. Perfect. It looks just the same thing. Perfect, I love being able to just this eat as many like cucumbers as you want and not feel like, oh wow, that was two bucks. It's a vegetable jay. I love it. So we have to come in here. Look, guys, see these? These are little, these are called, oh. These are called green apple cucumbers. To me, they do not taste like a green apple. But they're, this is like mature full size. So let's go see if you can find more cucumbers. Here, you wanna hold that one? Yeah. Okay, we have those. Mama, we need to get baskets. I already have this bowl. Okay. We need a harvest block. Okay, sweetheart. 
All right, and here we have Callie's garden bed. We yeah, end up filling it with soil it. since our last um, garden tour. And I don't really see much other than we did plant a cucumber plant back there, and we gotta start taking this and we encourage it, it to off. go up the wall. Yes, here at the wall with two E's. If it doesn't Anyone do reference? We're gonna have to One of our favorite movies. Okay, these berry plants, they were also stunted. They're, they're producing. And then cucumbers Please. back there. I see Please. munchers. Oh yeah, baby. Oh, that's a muncher that went way too big. Pull that. So we planted, remember those cucumbers that were stunted for those that watched the garden tour? They were like this big. And I said, they're stunted. They're not doing anything. I really had very little hope for them. Okay, this is a muncher cucumber that we let go really far because we've been gone. Yeah, it was Now it's hiding. massive. So munchers you kind of uh, harvest as a little, a little yeah, guy, I'll show you what like a little, uh, what you would get in the store of maybe like a Persian cucumber, like just smaller. Guys, this is so fun. Coming back after a week is actually very fun. We didn't think we were gonna leave during the garden season, but we made it work. Okay, along here, these plants were stunted here, over here. Look, not stunted, producing fruit, perfect little muncher cucumber. So good. These berries still haven't produced fruit yet, but I'm seeing flowers and potential for berries. I may never grow these again. The smell that comes from the plant, it smells like gasoline to me. They're called Tamarillo Dwarf. I don't know. I don't know. Why do they smell like gasoline to me? I have no idea. Okay, over there, We've got our potato beds here. We've got this raised bed coming in nicely. We've got some sweet potatoes over here coming in nicely. Those are sweet potato slips that I made. So cool. And then I'm just gonna skip over and come down to this. We've got potato patch. That's so cool. So if we can do this well, then we can produce a big amount of potatoes next year, hopefully in the side garden, and then be able to really knock out having a good substantial starch in our home where that could be pretty sustainable. And we're gonna preserve them in so many fun different ways. You wanna put it on the table, baby? She's like, I can't carry this many cucumbers. Very Mom, good. I can carry this many cucumbers. Oh, okay, you got it? If I can tie the sweater around my waist. Oh, you wanna carry them like mommy? So I always come out into the garden thinking I'm not going to really harvest anything. We're gonna go like that. And I have found so many unique ways. Usually it's in my shirt or in my skirt or in my dress or in an apron. Or last night I did have a shirt tied around my waist. And then you use it as a little carrying basket. Perfect. Mama, can we put these on the table? Yeah. That's perfect. So it looks like our sweet potatoes have really taken off. They were just little plants in this little bed and they've now sprawled into this big, huge, beautiful, green, lush area. We got some more potatoes. These are not seed potatoes from the, from the feed store or from the farm store. These are actually potatoes that I let sprout. I got them from Walmart, an organic bag of potatoes. They, got, they sprouted and I said, I'm gonna plant them. And look, they're gonna make food. So that's awesome. Okay, let's go to the tomatoes. I did that last, last time. And that's crazy because tomatoes are such a fun, like main reason people garden. Ooh, rotten tomato and it's molding. Gotta tend to that one. Mama? Yeah, baby. Over here. Over there, you wanna start? We can start down here with these tomatoes. Let's look at the half round. Look how and much that's filled out. That one at the bottom and that one at the top. <gasps> yep, we've got a cucumber. <laughs> Hanging over the top. We have, I wanna say. These ones are my These favorite. ones are bumblebee maybe. And then these ones these are, hmm, they're cracked a little bit. Sunset maybe. These two different cherry Sunset's tomatoes. my favorite. Sunset's delicious. Those are delicious? Mm -hmm. Good. But we have another cucumber over here that was tiny when I left. And now it's like so big. 
Okay, if they're rotting, we gotta get them off the plant because the we don't want the plant to use its energy to try to ripen rotting fruit. Get those off. That's why I'm gonna have volunteers because I'm just letting them drop to the ground. Oops. Okay, I'll come back to that later. We have, oh no, I feel the rain. Ah! I ended up having to buy started basil because I started basil from seed in like 20 spots and nothing grew except for, look, finally. Oh, yeah. One little sprout finally survived. I think we did basil like three different times and never ended up getting them to germinate. Don't I did direct like sow them, but that's okay. I ended up buying some basil, broke it up, put it into different spots. So we have basil. Okay. Mama. Oh, how am I gonna get through here, guys? Tell me. I, I don't- You have to go through. Do I have to go down here? Yeah. Not through the top? You should go down here. It's like a kid's fort, but for grown-ups. But I don't really want to crawl right now in my skirt. So, we might need to come back, and it's gonna rain. Lunch is ready! Lunch is ready! You. Did you make lunch? Okay, maybe this was our garden tour for the day, because it is gonna start raining. Mama, we just need to get the bell peppers. Okay. those are really orange and red. I do, I see some orange ones over here. Our tomatoes have turned into a jungle, is all I'm gonna say, I guess. They have gone up above our trellis and they're going strong. So these are indeterminate tomatoes, which means they will keep producing as long as they ha are they stay healthy. Versus a determinate amount, a determinate tomato will only produce a determined amount of tomatoes. So all of mine are indeterminate. So as long as we can keep these plants healthy, you gotta prune, prune some stuff. It's raining, we're gonna prune some stuff, make that look nice. Okay, Mama, I just want to show them really quick before it totally starts raining. Our yeah. peppers, let's see. Peppers, beautiful Red. peppers. Oh, our peppers finally started changing color. So we don't just have green bell peppers, we've got Orange, Red. colorful. And they're changing, changing colors all in here. Mama, what do we have? We Kale that has gotten eaten alive. I just haven't pulled out and that's okay. Got some flowers, we got a melon. All right, in That's here, the my foliage hasn't filled out as much as I want it to, but look, it's still so pretty. Oh. Okay, so with this arch, we have what we call red noodle beans. And I was telling you my dream of what it was gonna look like. The one? Uh, you wanna, how, how about you pick one for lunch and we'll come back for other ones. Okay. Okay. Can we pick an orange one or a red one? So, whichever one you want, sweetheart. Okay. Because I'm right here. So these were just little plants and they have grown up and they're gonna keep growing hopefully. And they'll get bigger leaves and fill out even more. But look, all these are noodle beans. So actually, I'm really not eating them this year. I'm wanting to, them all to grow, become massive, dry out. Like these are already starting to dry out. And I'm going to just save the seeds. And that's mostly because I had to use like one, one and a half packs of seeds maybe. Maybe not quite one and a half, a little over one packet to fill just this arch. So I just want to save my own seeds and be able to then plant them in plethora and not feel like, okay, well that was three, four dollars just to plant one little arch, you know? Okay, well maybe that was a good little, little, very fast garden tour all the way. Look at, guys. <gasps> Beautiful. Okay, walking through the arch. Oh, this is just, it's so lovely. It's so lovely. My poor sunflowers have all died. I think I forget how much changes in the time that I talk to you until I share again. And I'm remembering now when I did the garden tour, I was like, oh look, one little blushing tomato. We have had a plethora. We have made many batches of sauce and we now are going to start making them and preserving them but like our favorites are big yellow slicers oh that's gonna be so yummy there's just if you just look up they're everywhere definitely need some pruning and some tlc oh my favorite row right here these are called ox heart so if i had to only plant one tomato I would plant either these pink or Hungarian ox hearts. The flavor is outrageous. They are so meaty. And so I could use them as a paste or I can use them as a big slicer. They're awesome. 
Man, I'm looking at a little bit of disease. I just need to get some pruning, some TLC. Oh no, this tomatillo plant looks like it's something happened to you. I'm not sure, but we still got some beautiful tomatillos. Could hopefully be making so much salsa. I brought a big, huge batch of tomatillos. I made a huge batch of salsa on vacation, which was awesome. Uh -huh. Oh wow, I see them. And I can't carry all of them. Yeah, this got overripe, so they turn yellow. Yeah, I cucumbers get I yellow overripe, so maybe we'll give this to the pigs. I think with these two cucumbers, we will go inside and go eat some lunch. Well, Mama, there's more. There's more. Yeah, here's another one. I have yeah. lots of hands. Okay, well, I think I'm gonna have to help you and use my skirt as a carrying thing too. Does that sound right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, we have well this garden? beautiful garden. I wish I could show you more, but it sounds like the rain is going to rain us out. Yep, it's gonna, I love that sound. I love storms actually. I desperately need to start my fall crops. So hopefully this will be a reminder if anyone wants to grow a garden. I can't fit all of this in here. That's okay, we can come back for it, sweetheart. A lot of cold weather stuff I will be starting. Broccoli, cauliflower. I wish it was already started, but I haven't gotten to it yet. So we're gonna get on that. No. So much produce that we got to hunch over to carry it. You are so cute. Mama, can, can we use your skirt too? Yeah, we're gonna say goodbye to our friends. I have so much to share with you. Uh, we ended up getting our semen analysis back and have been uh, kind of processing that. I think I need to use this bucket. Okay, use the bucket. We've been processing that, but I'm gonna make that a standalone video. So if you're just come in searching, needing that information quickly, which I was definitely in that season. Um, we'll provide that not in the mix of a vlog. Look at these beautiful butterfly peas really quick. Oh, those have come in so nicely. And I'm going to use them to color some lemonade to make some pretty pink lemonade. And we'll save some of the dry stuff and we can use them also. My arm's fallen off from carrying. My arm's falling off. I'm so sweaty. <laughs> Beautiful hot peppers. Maybe I'll give you a quick little peek. Oh, oh, it's just so lovely. It's so lovely to come home to and I'm just so blown away with how much it's changed in a week. Like I don't even recognize my own garden in a week. That's amazing. But it's probably best for you guys that I needed to realize how much has even changed since I've shown you before. So anyways, let's get a last view. All this beautiful garden, so much fun food. And hopefully become more and more self-sustainable. I don't know for you, but I feel like that's definitely a, a lofty goal that a lot of us are starting to have of, you know, kind of go back to what our great, great grandparents did is it was normal to have a garden in your backyard to be able to feed your family, so. Anyways, it's good to be home. Vacation was very life-giving and I'm very excited for uh, what's to come. And thank you guys so much for sticking with me and being such a loving support. And I just love you guys. And if you guys made it to the end of this video, put any kind of nature emoji. And thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you guys in our next video. Go let your love multiply. Bye guys.